So welcome to another video. Uh, this one's on GarageBand and um, how to record your own sounds at home and use your voice to, um, to make sounds and then also to put effects on, which um, will really uh, make the sounds come to life. The effects are down here for the vocal effects and also these knobs down the bottom, these effects here. So I've mucked around with a few sounds I've recorded at home. Uh, let's have a quick listen and it's we're using a, a clip from Toy Story today. So let's have a listen. Okay, so that's just something I did really quickly. I used the, I recorded some screams um, with my voice, and then I also used my voice here, but I also put a bit of crash symbol that I downloaded off um, the internet as well. All right, so let's let's get to showing you how to record your own sounds. So basically, I started off in the kitchen, um, and I got some pasta. Okay, so this is a packet of pasta, and we're going to record that. Now, before we start recording it, we hit the, the headphone button. Now, that headphone button is actually called a solo button. And what it does, it blocks every other track except this track. So we're going to record on this track, but we don't want the sounds from the other tracks spilling over. So that's why you've got to have this button on. All right, and then we click record. And it's a good idea to watch the movie as you're recording to see what what's... Um, the film that will go with the sounds that you're creating. So here we go, we're going to record. Um, I'll just take the effect off, actually. Um, where the hell I do that? All right, so this has already got the effect on. So what I'll do is I'll do, um, I'll go to right click, new audio track. And this means that there's no effect on it. See this blue, um, this blue line. So I'm actually going to record on this track now because I want to start with no effects and then I'll put the effects on later. So I'll just delete this track. All right, here we go. So we're about to record. Okay, so there you go. We've got some recording. Let's have a listen to it. All right, so it sounds just like it does in real life. But um, if I put the effect on it, it's going to sound really, really different. So um, for this one, I'm going to use, I'm going to click on voice. And then you've got all these different types. Um, I'm going to try the experimental ones because they're really, really good. Um, Let's just try a deeper vocal for now and see how that sounds. So we're going to go back and play it. All right, so that makes it sound a lot more explosive. So that's really good. So let's go back now. We're going to turn the reverb up. The reverb is used in a lot of films to make the films. It basically makes the sound like it's been created in a really big auditorium or a really big hall. So you get a little bit of reverb and echo. So let's turn the reverb up and see what that does. Okay, and if I turn the reverb down, you'll see it's not as explosive, the sound. Right, good. So we've got our first sound. Now, it's a bit loud, so I'm going to turn it down because it's more of a background sound. So that's your volume. Now, I'm going to put it on the right speaker because I've got some sounds going on the left, and this one I'm going to put on the right speaker. Now, if you want to make the sound longer, all you've got to do is just drag it, Okay. Um, actually, but before you drag it, it's good to actually cut the ends off that, that, that don't have any sound. So you can see there, you can just cut the ends off and then you can drag it to extend it. All right. So I'm going to turn that sound off now. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to start a new track and we're going to do talking bear and alien. I'm going to show you how to do characters on your voice. So I'm going to label it and then we're going to put a helium effect on it to make it sound like a cartoon okay so again you have to press solo and when you press solo all the buttons will all the sounds will be muted so i'm going to go back to the beginning so first i'm going to do a bear sound and then i'm going to do an alien sound so obviously a bear is a big bear it's going to have a low pitched voice 
and, and a little alien is going to have a high-pitched voice. So I'm going to squeeze my nose to get the alien sound. All right, we're ready to record. So get nice and close to the microphone. Whoa, 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 whoa. And now we're going to try the alien sound. Okay, so let's have a listen to those sounds and what they sound like just as they've been recorded. All right, so we've got one high and one low. Now we're going to put the effect on, and this is the fun part. So we click voice, we go down to experimental, and then we put helium. Now some of you know what helium gas does to your voice. So let's have a listen. Okay, and now let's try it with more reverb. So we'll turn the reverb up. Alright, so it actually sounds a bit more like a baby. I think I'll actually turn the reverb down for this one. Sometimes you don't want reverb because the sound's already good. Um, you can turn the pitch up, so that'll make the voices sound a little bit more squeaky and higher. Yeah, okay. Or you can turn the pitch really low to make it sound more like a monster. Okay. Now, if that's not if the helium sounds not what you want, um, you could also try the monster one. Okay, or some of the others. All right, I'm going to do one more, um, and I'm going to do uh, a cry for help. Okay, so I'm going to add a new audio track, and we're going to record a cry for help now. So I've got no effect on it. I'm going to click the solo button, but you can see here these sounds are still blue. Um, so we need to turn off these sounds before we record. So in this clip, they're about to go into the fire and die, so um, we've got some cries for help. So I'm going to put the solo button on and record a help cry. Help! All right, so I didn't record it too loud because when I put the effect on, well, let's listen to it. Help! Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the effect on now. So I'm going to go voice, experiment, um, no, it's not, yeah, experimental, and then I'm going to click delay. Okay. Now, delay is like, singing into a really wide open space where the sound echoes a bit or it's actually called delay so let's listen to that sound now with the delay filter on and the knobs have automatically changed down here to create the delay so this is the the button here that you need to work out to this this will give you more delay or less delay <laughs> That sounds really, really cool. We can maybe turn the delay down a bit if you don't want it to be that big. So this is with less delay. Okay, and then the other way around, if you're going all the way, lots of delay, it's going to sound like a sort of space sci-fi sort of stuff. Okay, so I actually might give it a bit more delay. All right, now we're going to try it with the film, and I'm going to turn the solo button off, and the tracks will all turn to color because that means we're going to hear all of these tracks now. Okay, all right, so, and I'm going to bring the film up. So now we're going to hear, I might put the um, this bit over here. Okay, so we're going to hear um, the pasta sound and the, and the talking bear and aliens. Plus, we've got the sounds from before, okay? Let's see how it all comes together. Okay. 
Okay, so there you have it, guys. It's a really fun program. Um, so um, there's also guitar effects that you can put on. Um, all you got to do is go back, and there's also guitar effects. If you go to voice down the bottom here, and then you can try, probably, I'd say the best ones would be the electric guitar and bass effects, and you can try and uh, just have fun with it and recording your own sounds at home to create film music and film foley. All right, thanks, guys.